if they don't flinch me, I'm pretty positive I get back to full HP. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Yep, 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 I knew it. I knew I live every one hit. Hey, there we go. Go ahead and give me that. From 1 to 100%. Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey and here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Shutdown Live. This time we're going to be playing in the RU tier because RU is new. It is uh, finally here. Uh, I, I think I had a video up. I, I hope I have. I'm recording this before I record that video, but I hopefully had a video up on my thoughts on the tier shifts and RU as a whole. But we're using this Berserker team by my boy uh, Soul Gazer. And we have two teams. The second team is more of a balanced squad and I convinced them to use the car. I'm so excited about that, but uh, we have Choice Band Berserker on Sticky Web, and then we have uh, this uh, Balance right here with AV Berserker. So if you guys missed my moveset video, feel free to check it out. I hope y'all had a good New Year and everything. It's only the second, but ooh, okay, I cannot click Fake Out on anything. That's great, and I'm pretty weak to uh, pretty weak to hit Monly. But my guy doesn't have uh, my guy doesn't have any webs. My guy doesn't have any sort of hazard control besides the Himali itself, which I believe actually Rotom should be able to deal with decently well, or at least do some good damage to it, but um, only one Psychic Resist and no Normal Resist 2. Berserker is absolutely beautiful in this game too for its ability just to like come in on you and click a button. So we're going to get up webs first with Shuckle. I might have to like lock him into one move as well. Actually, I value rocks first too, as he goes for toxic and misses. Uh, now I do have a mental herb, so it doesn't matter if he goes for encore or anything. Yep, just get up my mental herb right here. Toxic, encore, spikes, and maybe the uh, toxic encore, spikes, and maybe I'm just thinking if he has final gambit or not. Uh, Scarf Whimsicott is going to play a huge role, especially with Sticky Web up. It should be able to outspeed the Hitmonlee, but we'll go Rotom here. As, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I I can't do much about that. Like, my opponent double misses. I cannot do much about that at all. I, again, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure why you're running Toxic. Maybe it doesn't get T-Spike now. Maybe it doesn't. That did absolutely nothing. That absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not about to have this roll here. It's Thunderbolt again. It does get T-Spike now. Perfect. So I'm a little bit less worried about T-Spike more so than uh, Spike. Obviously, because Spike would get more initial damage, which would be worse uh, for the Hitmonlee for me. But um, the Hound ends up coming out. And my Berserker is <laughs> pretty slow. Uh, but we'll Volt Switch here. Right on into Shuckle. Taking a Crunch. And then I'll go for Final Gambit from there as he goes for his own Volt Switch. Uh, this is interesting too because Pinkurchin doesn't have the best HP and I'm assuming Pinkurchin would come in and with the uh, with the sticky web up, I'm, I mean I'm definitely faster anyway it looks like it, but uh, let me go ahead and hit him with this final gambit real quick. That's how you kind of spin block kind of, no not really. Alright, we'll go out to Berserker and get my KO right now. This Iron Head. Ooh, he gets some chip off on me. So I'm assuming Hitmonlee would come out now too. Every single time I do that, I always feel like I'm about to take, like, uh, innards out, right? Whenever, every single time I hit Pinkurchin, I'm always thinking it's Pukumuku. But I'm assuming you go hit Molly. Maybe you do go out into Bolton. Um, Whimsicott is just looking so much more threatening. Like, every single second. Yeah, it's looking ridiculously threatening. Now, I'm also assuming that this is unburdened with the Psychic Seed and not with the Electric Seed. Um... I'm not going to sack Berserker because it can come in on Ndidi and click a move. Uh, so we'll actually go our own Ndidi here. Uh, which, it's probably not the best play because this is going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. But this is going to hurt more because Gallade is very hard for my opponent to switch into, period. So Knockoff will get rid of Bolton and it hits Ndidi for super effective damage. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the Basculin dies. Um... Also, I think him only needs to have Earthquake to knock me out. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure it even knocks me out here, uh, period. But we'll go for close combat. It should be fast. Uh, it, actually, it's not even faster. It doesn't even have the electricity. Great. Hey, great. We take those. We take those right now. 
My boy Berserker gonna come in and get the last kill too. Yep, because he went Basculin first. Exactly. Let me close combat here. Got some damage off on you. Galate is stupid good. I think that Sun is going to be really good. I mean, I talked about it in my in my video, but we didn't even really get to use Berserker there. I'll go another game with this, and then I'll switch over to the uh, Balance Squad, where I think it actually has a little bit more use. That's really interesting, too. I love this assortment of Pokemon that you would not normally see hanging out. Like, I don't know if Flareon has any business hanging out with Arctazolt. Arctazolt looks like he's freezing, to be honest. Maybe Flareon just trying to, you know, warm him up a little bit. Um... Man, yo, I love Berserker in this. I love it. It says Throat Chop over Crunch. This should be Crunch. Sorry about that. Let me just make sure this should be Crunch. I just clicked on the same move twice. Okay. Definitely be Crunch. I should change that. I don't think there's any use for Throat Chop down here besides like Bug Buzz from a Selgor. Maybe there's something else I'm thinking about too. Um, Pangoro is definitely scary early on as well. But Shuckle is just so good at just getting up hazards early. I'm just thinking about like, do I want to go Berserker just to, to like have a better lead matchup versus like Whimsicott or something too. But if that's the case, I always, I think I just go Shuckle anyway. Haunter's a problem, but I do have the Indeedee, so that shouldn't matter as much. Uh, webs, yeah. I mean, I'm okay with this too. Like, I'm assuming you'd go for maybe like a Shadow Bar or something will Encore you. Encore you, bring out Ndidi, and click Psy Shock. That should force in Pangoro. I liked Rocks up first for Flareon, but maybe maybe uh, Webs were a little bit better because when I force in Pangoro, I could get in Berserker and click a button. But I will just Psy Shock here. They don't really do much back. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is actually make the uh, Shuckle play, anticipating them to want to go out to Pangoro now. Unless Choice Band Close Combat knocks me out. I should be able to get up webs. Nice. So we're able to get up webs there as their life orb, which I'm fine with. And then we'll go for final gambit just in case they try to go out into their uh, their man time there. But I think this is all right because I can safely bring out my Gallade and just click close combat. Uh, if they make the Haunter play, which is a really nice play, uh, I'd be and they're not even heavy duty boots on man time, which is perfect because look how much they took, man. Yeah. This is like five because I should be able to go right for a life orbs and headbutt. Uh, I don't knock them out, but at least I can flinch them and potentially put them in range of my next hit. I'm surprised uh, they took that so well. We'll make the Rotom play. They should default here. The Air Slash, which is... You know, this is fantastic because whatever they bring out now, Berserker comes out. Berserker literally comes out and clicks a button. I'm surprised they're not running Heavy Duty Boots. I'm surprised they're not running like anything to really uh, deal with that. And unfortunately, I can't actually block them going for a prankster uh, defog if they have it even if, like I have psychic terrain up I don't have a dark type on this team so we're bringing out berserker and I'm just gonna click choice ban iron head right now I don't, I don't care about that man you're giving me Pokemon here Flareon should be 2 ko I think Mantine will be 2 ko too um, just because they're not running heavy-duty boots yep go ahead and pick up your KOs berserker look at it he's so happy about this too I love that this is a beard. I want to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm going to knock you out. I definitely keep Ndidi healthy because Ndidi helps me deal with Haunter. And soon, uh, if I get rid of one of these two, I can either click Hyper Voice or Psychic. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to assume this almost ko If I was Steely Spirit, this definitely KO'd you. How do I want to deal with you? You're just really good too for clicking Moonblast. If I click Iron Head here, I can almost Moonblast sweep. Rotom looks to be the most expendable member. As they go for Wish. Okay, they shouldn't be able to knock me out one hit, so I'm actually going to go for Nasty Plot, because this should be a special defensive set. Yep. And we'll Thunderbolt twice here. Their resist is at less than half, so... Beautiful. Again, we'll just Thunderbolt again. Even if they Wish up, I don't really care. I lose nothing by clicking Nasty Plot. Uh, great play on their part going for the flare blitz but um hey you're gonna give me a ko now and i actually click knockoff over anything else just because if they go hunter i knock them out 
Uh, and I can switch it up now if I want to into Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt will definitely knock out Flareon. It'll knock out Haunter. It'll knock out Whimsicott. I'm just not trying to give them any switch-ins, period. Uh, as they end up going out to Artazult. Which I guess is fair because it's pretty expendable here. And I'm forced to go for close combat now. But they're not pivoting around into the Haunter anyway. Plus, man, I don't care they have Winsicott. I don't care they have Pangoro. This mod beautiful versus you. I'm knocking off. They're not going to Shadow Ball that turn. They either Sludge Wave, which I don't know if they knocked me out of minus one, or they go for the... Uh, or they go for the sub. This is really tough because like they can't, they're scared of Sludge Wave, they're scared of Shadow Ball. I'll make the NDD play. I wish I had Mystical Fire. Nice, I got the turn right at least. I really wish I had Mystical Fire, but I do have a sack that I can bring in. Like I have Berserker on Pangoro. So just side Shock. I'm not going to bother doubling. Just because of um, Berserker is going to be my main switch into one of their mods. Ooh. Okay. We'll go for Switcheroo because it does go through Substitute due to Infiltrator. And now they're locked in. And uh, now you're going to give me a Pokemon by me clicking Iron Head. So that's fantastic. And I think Berserker just wins the game now. You're going to die. <laughs> sorry. Chase Band Berserker is going to click some moves. Pangoro. Oh, I'm sorry too. Choice Band, Tough Claws, go ahead and give me that. Hey, look at little Berserker, go. Look at him. Beautiful. All right. So, uh, we'll switch it up to these uh, Assault Vest Berserker, which is really solid in my opinion. And plus, we're using the car. I convinced him to put it on the team. Because when he was building it, we were talking together. I was like, I was like now I need Hazard Control and all that stuff. I was like, use the car. Use the car. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, this is a pretty textbook on how I'm going to uh, start off this game. Uh, Berserker is going to be my lead of choice versus their Galvantula. I'm going to fake them out into U-turn. I'm going to go out to the car and go for Rapid Spin. Um, the Poron is going to help me deal with this. Artivish, unless they have Freeze Dry in their Life Orb, then they are a giant threat. Uh, Passimian is going to be really good with close combat here. I'm assuming this is Silvali Ghost, though. Uh, but Passimian's knockoff and close combat are going to be very, very good. And Rotom Fan is going to help me deal with also Passimian. Uh, in this game, in terms of how they beat me, I'm pretty weak to Sigilyph, depending on the set. But Berserker might be able to deal with it as well. But yeah, it's going to be Berserker versus not the Galvantula lead. Really surprised considering this is Sticky Web. But I mean, this is still a Vileplume play after anyway. So I fake it out for a little bit of chip. Then we switch hard into my Vileplume. Uh, Vileplume is also a mod that could just do work versus them. But if I get Effect Sport, exactly. So that's great because Passimian is not going to be able to come in as often as it wants to. Um... My only issue with this turn is that Sigilyph is a, is a damn problem, but uh, the car is pretty bulky. That boy ate. Yum. Hey, go ahead and get up your Stealth Rock here now. As they go out into Stunfisk from Galar. <laughs> is that what that means? Uh, ground Steel. Rocks. Hmm. Because Close Combat is definitely going to be my end game. I do think I go out to Vaporeon and just wish. Yeah, I, I, I could have burnt them. Oh, especially because they only had this. That's annoying. I'll just scald as they go Artivish. Uh, smart play. I wonder how much they actually do a freeze dryer. Are they Life Orb or not? Because they're. I don't want. I don't want to switch on a freeze dry and have them go for Fishes right on Berserker. Berserker is going to be clean, especially because they're not Flame Morph Sigilyph now. So Berserker's role is going to close. Well, I don't have close combat on this one, but yeah, it's still really good here. We'll wish once. Exactly. That's not going to do crap. Yum. Yeah, and Pacific just makes the most sense. They're not. I don't even know if that's banded. That, that did 19 on a crit. What if I'm just a managed go out into car call? Let me just scald actually. Let me scald because like worst case, what they're they're gonna stay in? Yeah, like what what do they do from there? They're not doing anything. I will stall you out. Oh, I can't use the word stall because when people hear stall, they're like, ugh, stall. I will put myself in a better position versus Galvantula. Anyway, we can wish pass right out into the car. He's gonna eat this thunder up and the webs. Beautiful. Ooh, go ahead and uh, click Rapid Spin here too. <laughs> Look at the cargo. <laughs> Look at him. 
And he gets a speed raise. Unfortunately, again, I do not want to stay in on you. Um, I'm kind of thinking I actually beat you 1v1 with Vile Plume, so I'm going to do that. Uh, as they go right for Earthquake, nice. Yeah, let me just get as much damage off on you as possible. And this is great too, because if Sigalith was in fact their... Um, if Sigalith was in fact their... Uh, was in fact Specs, just based on that damage. Uh, Berserker's okay. Yeah, I did nothing. Berserker's okay. I can fake out first into Crunch. Bro, you don't care about me having... You know, every single time I look at this mod, I'm like, okay, crap. It can get the... I'm thinking about the other one, right? It can get the defensive... Um, What's it called? It can get what on me? Ah, static. Static, but it, it's not, obviously. But yeah, we fake out into U-turn every single time. Ooh, Berserker looking better and better, man. I'm loving it. And that Siglev ain't gonna appreciate this hit, period. I'm gonna get a drain one more time, though, because, like, I don't want to go for Sludge Bomb specifically on this thing when it comes out. Um, and... Fan, like it's good, but it's not. Like, I do think you'd heat wave here. I do think you're heat wave here. I'm just trying to think are you life orb or not? Uh, obviously, we don't see life orb, but I'm thinking about uh, the, 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 the magic guard. I feel like Berserker is still the play, but it's not giving me much. I need to bring in... I think I sack Rotom and go out into Passimian and click Knock Off. Because I think that gives me the most out of the turn. Um, especially because they don't know if I'm... Well, they do know. They could see Heavy Duty Boots there. But I'll Air Slash just in case they don't think about it. Uh, and if they're Scarf, they're Scarf. But at least I get to find all that information. So we go for Knock Off here. Getting rid of an item on anything opens up a door for me. My Vile Plume helps me deal with Passimian, so I'm not worried about that. And that's great because now Stun Fisk will no longer have any recovery whatsoever. Beautiful. We're out to Vile Plume. We go. And go ahead and catch this Sludge Bomb. We don't got to worry about you at all. I can Rapid Spin as well. Uh, if need be, depending. I mean, it depends. It really depends. But um, my Vaporeon still stupid, not, like, stupid good versus them. I think I'm just going to Sludge Bomb first. Potentially getting a Poison on Silvali Ghost. <laughs> I do it get it immediately. And then we'll just go right for strength sap. Hey, so as long as Savali Ghost is gone, it's not a threat. It's not a threat. I'll just Giga Drain from here as well. I kind of figured they SD. Nice. So you die in one hit. Uh, what do I want to sack? If they don't flinch me, I'm pretty positive I get back to full HP. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Yep, 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 I knew it. I knew I live every one hit. Hey, there we go. Go ahead and give me that. From 1 to 100%, Sigalith comes right out. The car is going to come right in, and it's actually not going to do crap. So, yeah, they're going to 2 a K on me. But let's see if they heat wave me immediately. They don't. It's fine. Like, they're, at this point, their hazard doesn't matter. I just bring out my... Um, My Berserker. I go for Fake Out first. I'm not worried about you. I literally get to bring out the Simeon and click a close, uh, a strong move, right? Like if they if they anticipate me to go to there, that's fine. I could also make the the Valpum play too, but as long as Berserker's alive, I'm good. In fact, I can even make the Valpum play now and just wish pass, because they do not deal with this Pokemon into into Berserker period, which is why I like Valpum plus Berserker a lot. And I'll just haze here, just in case they decide to go for Ficious Ren. As they Psychic Fangs there, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure they're Scarf. Um, I'm pretty positive they're Scarf. And we're just going to use this plus Berserker to do as much damage as possible. There we go. And now we've made it that they're no longer going to be able to go out into their Stun Fisk at all. He <laughs> I do not know the Sigler set. Oh, they got the chip. That's fine. No longer will you be able to come in on my Iron Heads anymore, buddy. That's it. I don't need this Pokemon no more. I don't care. Hard as Berserker. Click Raw Iron Head here. I'm going to live two Heat Waves anyway. 
click Raw Iron Head because it hits Pissimian the hardest. And as long as Vaporeon plus Berserker's alive, I'll beat the Artivish as well. So, uh, it's uh, I, I just click Iron Head. That affects poor poison gonna be really nice because Pissimian is just gonna come in and take about half. Oh shoot, that did more than I thought, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, Iron Head was a KO at that point. Nice. So as long as these two are alive, we're good. Um, I have a, a Vile Plume physically defensive just for you. As they go for U-turn. I just sense that. Uh, yes, I'm giving them their uh, their attack raise, but that doesn't matter. Because uh, it's not a threat at the end of the day. At all. Uh, go ahead and give me that recovery. And you know what's crazy? The, uh, the Artivish is actually going to lose too. Um, cause it has to click one move, Ice Cream Crash, it only has 13 of them and it can't beat my team. So, nice. Nice. AV Berserker doing his role there. That was definitely Life Orb Sigilyph, but hey, that's a, that's a, a tough claws boosted Iron Head. And this is going to be a tough one. Um, yeah, this is going to be tough. Like, my, I think my way of winning this is going to be Growth Valplum, just looking at their squad, especially if that is Body Press, Cursed Body. With, uh, body press, curse body, body press, cotton guard with toxic spikes, which it looks to be. And luckily, my volume is just super strong in general versus them. Uh, Berserker's roll, fake out plus iron head and U turn is gonna be nice, especially versus uh, the the Mister Mime Galler, as they put in the team builder. Um, ooh, is my my sandwich ready? It is. Good. Love Pissimian's roll to just click fake uh, U turn around on their entire team, and my, look at my little card. <laughs> Uh, rocks would be nice here too. Uh, their spinner is this, but I beat their T-Spiker as well. We'll go Berserker early. Uh, it just gives me the most out of potentially Fake Out plus something else. Uh, I wonder if they're. I wanna see if they're running the Rocky Hummet. They are. All right, so I know quite a bit about their their set now. Um, my Rotom is stupid good as well too, but I wanna get a Brox first. Yeah, I don't really care about that too much because I'm gonna burn them here. Remember when I said I wanted to get up rocks first? Yeah, I burnt them first. But I did what I had to do. That's completely fine, especially because Rotom is good. And same thing with Valplum. This is like set up opportunity for Valplum now. Yum. It was set up opportunity for Valplum before, but I wasn't I wasn't sure. Sludge Bomb seems super safe. Oh, okay. I would say Sludge Bomb just seems super safe. Uh, their resist to it dies to Giga Drain, so I'm not as worried. I don't know if they have rest on this thing, but again, Sludge Bomb once again seems super safe. And I have specifically Berserker to deal with you. Yo. Alright, go ahead and give me this Iron Head. Ooh, okay. That did nothing. They went for Giga Drain there, which is weird. I'm pretty sure they're going to try and status my entire team, but what I want to do is just Wish Pass around. And I'll go Berserker. They might body press. It's not going to knock me out. They end up going Astronaut, which is great. So we get Berserker back at uh, near full. Or at full, excuse me. I was thinking near full because I was going to probably take a, a Rocky Helmet hit. But that wasn't the case. What if this is offensive Gastron? I hate dealing with stuff like that. But I meant to click U-turn there. Oh my gosh. That was supposed to... I misclicked Crunch and click U. That really sucks because that, uh, that messes me up a lot in this game. That messes me up. Man. He went immediately into Mushard and now realizing it. Yeah. Smart. Very smart. That messes me up a ton in this game. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. I'm going to try and at least burn out its leftovers. Excuse me. Okay. So... I'll do as much as possible, but that sucks that I didn't click U-turn there, because I I ended up getting uh Scald beaten. Hmm. Can I beat this now? Cause it you have recovery. Ha! Ah, I'm mad at myself. This wouldn't be they have Moonblast and probably a psychic move, so this would not be a problem. This hundred percent would not be a problem. Had things went the way I needed them, had I not clicked Crunch. That's that's my own fault, though. That's my own fault. We U-turn because we eat every attack. Surprise, it actually came in. Luckily, they seem to be playing in a way that's going to still provide for a potential win 
from Rotom. Uh, so knockoff is the play to get like to do the most out of the turn, regardless of what attack they go for there. And we can bring out Vileplume here because we shouldn't go down to anything. Yeah, they're they're hella defensive, man. Freeze guy won't knock me out. I might as well try and burn them if they if they try and go for rapid spin here. Burn. Nope. That really sucks. Uh, you can still come in and get up hazards though. So, nah, it's it's not worth it. This mod is actually a problem too, because I have to go berserker after and beat him down. I don't know if they're locked in or what that is, but. I'm going to U-turn here because I live a Focus Blast, for sure. And if they stay in, I can at least go Vaporeon and try and Wish. Uh, this is a problem, though. Let me click Iron Head and not be dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they're Weakness Posse or not. I mean, uh, duh, I know they're not Weakness Posse. They're, uh... What's it called? They're a Violite. But this is so... I'm so mad at myself, man. I can just keep a momentum here and go for U-turn and knock them out. As their resto chest though. Or just rest. The chest what the hell am I saying? But they can't wake up, so... Man. Berserker, you would have won me the game already. It's fine. They get 2 AKO here. Because that does the same damage. What is this set? Luckily, they don't have Sleet Sauce. Go ahead, game, Mr. My. <laughs> Alright, so that, again, that's so good for my um, my Rotom fan. My Rotom fan is 100% my Wincon. Like 110%. Yeah, that one's a problem, though. Mm. I'll just Sludge Bomb. I'm really surprised Sock came out, but I'm good with breaking Sock Sturdy. Fake out, U-turn, close combat, knockoff. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is still necessary, but it might be like to knock out Musharna at whatever range it's at, at the end. I'll just turn sap here. You don't do anything to me anyway. It doesn't have mold breaker either, so. Get it back. You get it back. Ah, uh, they went Musharna. Alright, so I have to go Rotom now and uh, actually start boosting alongside them. Yeah, let me. I mean, nasty plot. They're gonna hurt me if they have stored power. No, I'd be one. I'd be one up, but at least because I'm faster, there's potential here for me to flinch them down too. <sighs> Berserker, why? Why did I misclick Berserker? Why? Hey, get greedy on me! I dare you. You'll find out what happens right here. Call me Toekiss. Call me Toekiss. Call me Toekiss right now. Call me Toekiss. Uh. It's not enough. It's not enough, man. It's not enough. It's not enough. All I had to do... Oh, oh, protect. Okay, interesting. Wait. Okay, they can't touch Vileplume. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we know they're a full set. They can't touch Vileplume, which is great. Yeah, I don't care about that. Go ahead and grow up. So, I mean, in theory, Vileplume just wins. Um... I don't know. I don't think they do as much to me as I, I hope I beat them 1v1. I don't know if they do that much to me personally, but they only have 17 Moonblast left, which is still a good chunk. That did a lot more than I wanted it to. I'm going to be honest, I did. Did a lot more. Uh, and that did a lot more too. Oh, and that, that. Yeah, there we go. I can't shrimp stab them because I already hit them. Remember when I said they can't be Valplum? They can. Good game. So, uh. I, that game should never have came down that close. I would have been able to wish pass infinitely between Berserker and the uh, Vaporeon. And that was my fault completely because I misclicked the, um, the what's it called? I misclicked Crunch when I meant to click U-turn to get on out of there. And I got Skull Burn. So that was absolutely my fault. Rotom being my main way for you. 
Vileplume is so nasty in this game. Wow, Vileplume is nasty. And Karkul helps me deal with Salazzle, which is a giant threat. I love it. Yeah. Vileplume is fantastic. Sex? What? The hell is wrong? No? I do not want sex spelled wrong. Anyway, um, Vileplume is beautiful. Like I said, it, it deals with Hunter their team. My Berserker's role is to uh, essentially deal with Rotom. Because if it's nasty plot, I'll be able to hit with rocks up. I knock it out with uh, Crunch and their spinner. You should learn spin. But yeah, Vileplume is just beautiful. It beats the majority of their team. Uh, and if it's like very low drawback lead. Only Salazzo is great versus me, which I can switch out into the car on. And that will give me rocks and, you know, I'll, I'll be all right from there. Plus, I have Rock Blast in case there's substitute. I gotta go to the gym soon, too. Okay, you know what? I might have my video, because uh, it's look, it's starting to run a little bit late. Might have the video going up at, at, like, the last video of the day. We'll see, though. Perfect. So, they lead off a of Valplum. I'm gonna be honest here. They might be Specs. I'm just gonna click Giga Drain. Not sure why they gave me that immediately yeah I'm not I'm not sure why this is happening immediately but we'll go out to Vaporeon here because their wish most likely protects Scald and Ice Beam so that doesn't really matter um, I get to go Vileplum because it deals with Rillaboom if they want to make that play if they Ice Beam again I always wish pass up I guess I'm technically risking them getting uh, a freeze on me, but Vaporeon makes that no wish, uh, no risk, excuse me. And I can always wish past the Vileplume on Rillaboom, exactly, so. This is fine, even if they go for knockoff, they can get, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna deal with that, lovely, don't care at all, that looks to be banded too. Just throw off a sludge bomb here as they go, so volley steal. Uh, very nice. I'll stress that once, just to see how they react. Uh, this is this is uh, this is a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Luckily, we do have a physically defensive Vaporeon, which can just haze immediately. Wow, this is some damage. Sucks that I hazed it. Uh, so we can get rid of their um, their boost immediately and just haze it right back up. As a U-turn, doesn't matter. Vaporeon gets back up to uh, near full anyway, and their best options are both the Rillaboom and the. Uh, both the Rillaboom and the um, and the Rotom. Them having to be poor on though is very, very, uh, very annoying. Well, I'm alright with this. Go ahead and give me massive damage on you. What, to get up rocks? Yeah, that's completely fine. Heck yeah, that's fine. Haze it up. Ooh, okay, they're keeping up. Uh, they're keeping it offensive here. What move are you going for now? All right, I've, I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you. Let's do my damn face one more time. My turn to be aggressive here. Let's do my face one more time. Wish up right now, get my Vaporeon back at full. Don't even care. They can go out to their own Vaporeon if they want to, which they probably will, but they actually should. But as long as my Vaporeon's at full, I'm good, so. Yeah, we just wish up every single time. Ice Beam doesn't matter on this because they can't freeze this thing to death. Just Scald there, that way they can't be crazy and go with Mudsdale like they decide to do. Perfect. Dead. I'd be ashamed if I protect and see what move you go for, huh, Rillaboom? I know your choice is banned, too. Going shrimp sap back as well. Yum! And this is why we have a car. Yum! Hey! Look at him go, little car cool. Look at him go. Let me go ahead and rabbit spin on this bad boy too. Yeah, no more rocks this game. Sorry, baby. Shoot, I'll get up my own rocks now. I'm faster as well. <laughs> Risk-free rocks. I love it. I love it. Go and SD in my damn face right now, too. 
Uh, everything's falling out of their control now. They had a, they had offensive momentum. Yeah, they're so lucky they didn't get punished there. They had a lot out of that, but man. Uh, what is What gives me the most out of the turn? Berserker's still just chilling there already. You know what? Let me go ahead and go Berserker now. Yo, don't crit me. Berserker chilling there already. Yo, I'm designed for you. I don't I don't care that I don't care about being burnt at all. Like I, as long as I break your cobra, we're good. And I can U-turn after? Hell yeah. Give me offensive momentum. That's great. So now they're gonna data Passimian's knockoff guaranteed. And this is where I get to have fun. Going nasty plot up in your face. You're insane. Like, they do not care about this before out. I mean, then again, they knew they live. But now, what's coming in on plus two Vol Switch? Show me. The 69% Rillaboom? You're staying in? Actually, do I even do much damage to you? That doesn't matter. I have my own Vaporeon to do the exact same thing. So I, I really don't care. I don't. I do not at all. I'll go out to my Berserker as well and just literally go back and forth between these two. What's up, man? How's it feeling over there? It's the same thing. It's a little... It's unfortunately like this just because they have a... Because of the nature of their team. Am I crazy if I go out to Carcoal? Let me just Scald. Ice beams, eight more. I just don't want them freezing my Vileplume. You can always just wish pass. I guess freezing Vileplume isn't the end of the world. It's not. It's really not. Especially because I have rocks up now and I can just click Giga Drain after as well. Salazza comes out. Time to bring out my car. Time to bring out my car. I'm going to Sludge Bomb Poison that Vaporeon as well. My car is in. My car is now. Go, my car. Yum. A two. Whack. You did your job, though. Just earthquake. I, I smart play them going Rotom, but I did not want them. Like I don't know if Knock KO'd. I should have KO'd, but I don't know what item they were running. If I'm being honest, uh, this gives me such offensive momentum too. Love it. Sorry, buddy. Go ahead and give me that. Okay, so now I can click uh, Earthquake slash Close Combat, respectively. Things are looking pretty good from over here. They're looking pretty good from over here. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted, man. Earthquake is looking nice and free. They go ahead and do that. That's completely fine, too. Go up and bring out the boy. I haven't revealed growth yet, but it's not worth me going for just yet. And now we go Harper Simeon and just click Close Combat. Uh, Pasimi won't die to a crit. Yep, sorry, buddy. Go ahead and give me that. Salazzo can go ahead and... It's rocking the heavy-duty boots. What's wrong with me? Did I not see this the entire game? I did not see this the entire game. What's wrong with me? I'm so sorry. Ah, give me Salazzo, man. Yum. I just wish pass into the exact same thing. No. So my play here is actually to to not click scald immediately because I, what I want them to do is I want them to pass. I want them to think I don't know that scald breaks my uh, breaks my freeze. So I want them to try and get greedy on me and go out. So I mean I can always thaw naturally, right? But I want them to try and get greedy on me and uh, go out into Silvali. Or excuse me, uh, Rillaboom or, or that. So now we'll click Scald. Yep. Because, again, that's me just like, 
you know, faking out that I don't know that Skull melts the ice. Um, and potentially burning? Nope. <sighs> One day. One day. Plus, I'm not wasting PV. Yum. All right. Hard. Go ahead. Take some damage, bro. Take some damage. Hey, close comment again. That don't make a difference. It just becomes a little bit more annoying. But they only have five wishes left, so they're soon gonna have no recovery at all. Uh, I'm just gonna scald here, uh, just in case they try to go hard. So volley, I don't lose much from it. And now they have four left. Berserker, safest U-turn of my life. They're trying to stall out all my attacks, which makes sense. Because um, I only have a few that I can actually abuse, but we'll be a little bit aggressive. First off, I was going to burn them there. I was going to attempt to burn them. Four. Mm. I'm gonna will this now. I would rather have poisoned them, but they only have three wishes, and the fact that this will help cancel out leftovers after rocks means that close combat can pick up a KO. There we go. Ice beam's gonna hurt. Oh, they went for Skull. Great. So perfect. I mean, that took me long enough to do, but you know. Unfortunately, that's just the type of game we're playing right now. I just haze. Hard so volley? Bro, you are crazy. Like, that doesn't even matter. Again, I know you're banded, so... Or scarf, banded or scarf, whatever. You're locked in. That's the point. That is the, uh, the actual point of that. Shrimp that right back up. They pour in as two wishes left and three ice beams. Yum. Go ahead and growth up. That way their Savali still can't actually beat me 1v1. As they go hard into Savali still. On the growth boosted. The growth boosted attack. No, you hate to see it. 1v1. Yum! Go ahead and give me that. Right, so that was their main and only way, I think, of like being offensive here. And now it comes down to like really nothing. I don't think I can lose to, to Rillaboom. Well, I definitely can't because I stress that, but it don't matter. So now we just stall out uh, the remainder of their attacks. Wish pass to you. I'll just fake out once. Might as well get a little bit of chip on you. Does not matter. They only have one wish left. And I just do the exact rinse repeat process. And uh... Unless it's actually Scarf or Laboom. And I've just been like crazy in terms of calc. Knock off doing 30% though seems like so much. There's no way. I don't think this is a throw at all either. I, to be honest, I'm pretty sure Pissimia wins per, per, um, like on its own. But yeah, I, I'm, like I said, there was no way my boy was going down there. Thank you very much. All I gotta do is Giga Drain once on the Vaporeon switching. Go Berserker, which is going to help me fake out into... Exactly, which is going to help me fake out into U-turn. And then we bring out Vileplume on the Rillaboom. And that should be a wrap. I just shrimp sat first. I know this was a longer game, guys, but I mean, we use Berserker as a pivot here to stop to stop uh, Vaporeon from doing anything. This could have been Scarf the whole time, man. It's just that strong. I don't know. 
That's it, though. I got my dub. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you everybody for watching. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Shout out to Berserker. It was fun on the Choice Band team. It was fun. Or the uh, the Web Squad. It was also fun on Balance. I'm really sad that I misclicked in the last game because we would have been able to. I mean, this is my first time playing uh, uh, RU, right? But um, still fun. RU was my favorite tier last generation. If you guys did enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And if I didn't bring out, if I didn't put up the um, my thoughts on the new tiers and stuff, that's just because it's going to come out last. So it'll probably be my last video of the day. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.